All right. Well, today the theme is going to be all about not just breaking the glass ceiling, it's it's really about removing it altogether. And I feel very honored and privileged to be leading such a powerful topic today for the future of females in tech. So for those who don't know me, I lead the recruiting team at High Note. And uh, a fact just to kick us off is at High Note, our leadership team is 50% female. And today I'm really looking forward to all of us to learn how our leadership team at High Note is really shaping the future for female leadership in tech. Hey, John. Hey. So everyone, this is John McElwain, uh, High Note CEO and co-founder. So before we kick off our panel and really fireside discussion, John, I'd love to to hear a little bit from you about uh, why Women's History Month is so important to you personally and for High Note and really what breaking the bias means to you. Awesome. Thank you, Katie. And hello, everyone. Um, First off, I just want to thank our esteemed panelists for their time today and um, and really to welcome everyone in the audience for, for what I think is going to be a, a really interesting, open, candid and, um, you know, an informative discussion. So really looking forward to it. Um, but I wanted to start off with a maybe a quick personal story from my background before um, before we get going. So I think it's relevant and we're all friends here. So so why not? Um, so here I go. So I grew up uh, with both my parents working working full time, and my mom was in politics and actually became the very first uh, elected female county commissioner in our county. And um, as it turns out, she was only the second uh, female county commissioner in Ohio at that time. And I was really young and just naturally thought that all women should be could be county commissioners or governors or senators or even the president you know why why would it be otherwise and it was just normal for me to to assume that and you know as i grew up and i realized that that's you know not always the case and it's become very important to me coming from a family of i have two older sisters and three daughters that I need to be intentional about supporting women in their professional careers and really making making opportunities exist. And at High Note, I think one of our core values here is intentional inclusion. And that means really being purposeful in in how to foster diversity of thought and and how to embrace gender diversity at at all levels not not just thinking about it or or talking about it but really doing something about it and so i'm really proud and and katie mentioned this in the opening that that our leadership team here at high note is comprised of uh, 50 percent women and many of them are on the panel today so you're going to hear from them i think overall in the company we're right around 40 percent um females at high note and i think that that's pretty amazing given that we're primarily a technology and product company. And, um, you know, as a result, we've had to try really hard to attract, recruit, um, provide opportunities for women at all levels. And a shout out to Katie, um, who runs all of our recruiting efforts for, you know, her amazing work and her team's work in this area. Um, I, you know, I'd like us to be at 50% in, in sort of gender mix over time. So, um, and I think we can get there, but we have work to do in, um, in continuing to, to build on the progress to date. So WHM, Women's History Month at, um, at High Note does, does not end tomorrow because we start a new month. Um, we, we love the focus and, and the attention of this event, but, but other events and are, are super committed to I would say embedding diversity into our culture every month because that's what it takes i think to build a great company and a great culture so with that i just like to um 
thank Katie and the panel again for having this discussion and sharing their experiences. And uh, I'm really looking forward personally to listening and, um, and learning with all of you in the audience. And uh, thanks for attending. And Katie, over to you. Awesome. Thanks, John, for getting us started.